you're going to be a good basketball player, you got to showcase your talents in New York. Today, Michael Jordan comes to the Big Apple for what is likely his final game in the world's most famous arena. I love that. We don't need no hate Kurt Thomas will jump it off at 6'9". And Haywood, a seven-footer for the Wizards, controls the jump. After Mark Jackson left here, but Isley doing a great job the second half of the year. Wide open. And Michael knocks it down. Uh, it starts off slowly. Nice little jumper. Looking for the open man, and it'll be Russell's three ball. Hasn't been able to hit it like he did out at Utah, has he, John? Not necessarily from the perimeter, though. Pump pick by Jordan, and he's fouled on the shot. He'll shoot a pair. He's still a mile away. If you can ever play the kind of defense that Michael did in the half court, then you're talking about a true comparison. Staples Center this year, very capable score. Jordan's turn. Could this be a shootout brewing here between these two? That's seven now for MJ. Jordan keeping the dribble. Shot up, and after he nails it, you can see Shannon Anderson look at him like, come on. And Michael says, come on, Shannon. Let's do it. Come on, Shannon. No way. All day, Shannon, I can do Oh, this is getting good. Michael's and mouth is moving. To do. He was flapping on the way back. Well, they, you're going to listen. If Michael Jordan tells you something, you're going to listen. That's why college coaches in my mind have so much trouble in the NBA. As Michael says, now that. Uh-oh. Here we go. Uh-oh. Goliak can guess who knocked it away. Michael goes to save it, gets it into Russell's hands, and now Jordan's doing it both ends of the floor, and back he comes again. Oh, so long, Doliak. And one. Oh, baby. Wow. <laughs> yeah, he put Doliak on roller skates that time. He came off, used a nice screen, was able to lose Latrell's free well. Here it is. They gave him the ball in the open floor. He came off that screen by Charles Oakley. And you're talking about a colossal mismatch. Play. I want to tell you right now, he was one of the best defensive guards ever, ever, in the NBA. He would have enjoyed that challenge. He's a daredevil. <laughs> 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 now, here's Michael playing defense, too. Gets beat on the penetration, but able to recover. Blocks that shot from behind. And still has the effort to try to save that ball. The Knickerbockers are playing a good basketball game here. I guess they are. Anderson's got him, and uh, Jordan oh, draws the man. foul. Look at Michael, the look on his face. <laughs> that got you that time again, Shannon. We'll take a little break. Jordan <laughs> Howe with 18 points. We'll defend him. Well, how can you lose him on a screen? He did. <laughs> that, that's just miscommunication on the defensive end. When two guys come together, the, the guy that you want to make sure that you cover is Michael. If you want to send two people to anybody, it's Michael Jordan. Leitner gives it back to Michael, gone right by him. We're left wondering, why retire now? <laughs> <laughs> to Flutie, and I, Flutie had a remarkably strong arm. Michael on the move, blocking foul, he'll shoot free throw. He's been amazing second half of the year. Inside of a minute, Michael gets inside a spray well and knocks it down. And Michael <laughs> Jordan now with 26. Yes. Six points Michael here. Jordan, his final trip to Madison Square Garden. Could he make it his third 50-point happening? Well, he already has 26. He's better than halfway there. And he's keeping the Wizards in contention. Well cut along the baseline, showing some agility and mobility for a big man. Jordan knocks it down and it looks pretty well. Just wants to spree well to egg him on. Just you want somebody wishing somebody would start exactly. jabbering at him. <laughs> he could accept the challenge, but Spreewell just kind of looked away. And Michael chases to that side. Spreewell gets inside, and Michael fouled the wing and reversed and came back and dunked it. Russell on the line. It's a two. He was doing that with Phil Jackson, I believe. I remember in Chicago. And then he would come back in and do this. And that's out. 31. And that's the result of not double teaming him. Double teaming Michael, making him give the ball up. And now the Wizards 
with another opportunity as 23 brings it to the attack. A firing, got it. Here it comes, baby. Uh, how can you allow him to dribble up? He, I mean, he was just sauntering up the court with the ball, Brent. Staying on the floor for crunch time. In low, in the paint. Jordan, left hand. Yes, put it down. There's 35. Uh, you see how clever that move was? He sells Latrell Sprewell on the turnaround jumper and a nice little step through with his left hand. Steal by Jordan. He's got it on the floor. Needs help. Wraps it around. Hughes will track it down, and here they come on the Jordan steal. Timeout has been called. To go. Watch Michael Jordan go to the floor. Now watch the blow he takes right on the point of the chin. Now look. Not hurt as long as the game's in play. Up in pain. Tended to during that timeout. Ready to inbound the ball now. Spike would never do that. He had to stay in the Knicks jersey. Now here's Michael. Michael up firing. Fouled. And Michael's not missing. He can make this a two-point game, which he does. They're really in trouble. Got it. It's a three now. Wizards need the three ball. Leitner with a long pass to Michael. Michael's fouled right away by Sprewell. 43 minutes. 39 points. Pressure. Anderson. The open man is Weatherspoon, and that'll do it. The Michael Jordan era in Madison Square Garden comes to an end, but not without a battle. Michael Jordan. 43 minutes and 39 points and takes it all the way down to the wire.